Hello everyone and welcome to IM MS Excel Expert Tutorial Series. Today is day 33, and uh, in today's video we'll be actually uh, you know searching set of information uh, and uh, pasting that from an array to a specific location. So for this particular video we have taken the the file from the last video. So where we actually you know save the set of information into an array. So if you remember in the last video what we did, we took this particular information. So we named this particular table as final table. We stored this particular information into an array and then paste it into output sheet. So I'll show you the code which we had for this video. <coughs> so what we did, we actually named this particular range. And then we look for the highest row and column over here. And then we redefine a new array into which we stored this information. So into new this into this new array, we stored the old uh, information. Now this has this has been stored into an array. And then we went into uh, the output sheet, activated the cell A1, and like cell by cell we pasted the information from the uh, new array, which is like stored information which we have. Now. This is like, like we, we, you know, uh, we took the information from the excise table and pasted it over here. Sometimes what happened, we really don't need all the information. So in this case, today what we are going to do, we'll run a code where we only pick certain information from the array and paste it over here. For example, uh, from here, I just want, uh, let's say, only the first name and uh, let's say, science and hindi marks only right so from column i j k l so in these four co uh, columns i just need the information for serial number first name science and hindi so i don't want all the information i just want this specific information so what we can do in this case so i'll actually carry forward into the same code <coughs> So first of all, we should know that from where our data has to come. So this is actually column I from where we want to paste the, paste this information. So the column number here is nine. So we know the column number nine is there. So I'll say call nine starting from column nine. <coughs> I will start do until loop because uh, I want to keep on you know searching the specific headers from column 9 and uh, and I actually start filling the information from there so do until uh, I'll actually take the values directly do until active workbook dot worksheets into output dot let's say cells since this is the first row and column is 9 is empty right so I'm starting it undo until loop where and let's write loop over here and before loop I can say call equals to move to the next column <coughs> right so now I'll start writing the codes over here what I have started as of now is a do until loop where um, I'm telling that you know keep on working until the column which is starting from column 9 is empty so it will start working from column 9 and it will check for column 10 column 11 and column 12 the moment we go to this particular column, the macro will stop. Right, so this is what we are doing. Now, I'll start a if condition because uh, and now I have to find the um, the particular header into the stored array. So what I'm doing is, uh, so I'll start. and if function here where um, I'll say let's say you know 
let me copy this information because I have to write this again and again so in this if function if this particular information is actually equal to new array Oh, before that actually I have to write a a parameter basically that's okay I'll just write it maybe uh, for 1 to let's say W so we are doing this <coughs> so for W 1 to let's say J oh. God, what is happening? What I'm saying for W12 J, I'm looking for like all the headers here. If my header, which is to which is actually in column 9, is equal to that particular uh, uh, that particular header in a stored information, then what we are doing then write that particular value so how to write then this value is equal to or in fact i think i need to start another uh, column for again like the moment right now what is happening here is for all the all the rows header i'm checking that whether my header which is available in column 9 is matching with the stored information the moment is actually matching i want to paste the you know other information below it so I'll start another for where uh, let's say Q equals to 1 to I this value should be equal to let's say new Q and W right so what is happening here the moment uh, so let me start with this column 9 so my my information new information will you know check the data from column 9 and it will start checking until we have a column blank there now for w12 j what i'm checking whether my header so j is if you remember this is the upper bound of uh, you know the initial set of information so it is actually checking uh, that um, if my header is actually match matching uh, into the new array stored information if it is then I am pulling all the you know if you remember I was there which is like all the below information which is telling like this is the maximum limit so it's actually pulling and pasting all the information from there once this is done then I'm doing next keep on doing the next and then I'm ending the if and then this is the next yeah and then we already have the column update so this is the new code which is which is there so let's test this particular part I'll run it and see if it is working fine so I'll just go here so if it is working then we should be able to see senior num serial number na first name science and Hindi information over here so let's click on that I clicked it is actually pasting but actually it is overriding other information which actually if you remember this is the last set of information which is coming over here so we made a mistake somewhere we are actually not going down one by one so we are actually overriding the data here itself so let's fix that part what mistake we made and again pasting the headers here let me review what is happening here so there must be some part which we did not overwrite so what I'm doing is I'm actually taking the values until zero in this case what I'm doing is I'm taking the column ray if it is matching oh wait if I made this as an old array because this is the stored information and then if I run it oh actually same thing sorry it's 
So. <coughs> so what we are doing is uh, we are checking this value the moment it is actually matching for that particular W oh because ah, yeah, so this date I have fixed so this row I have fixed over here so this has to be Q so every time we made uh, you know a update that has to go to the next row okay so that is the mistake which we are making guys so because we fixed this particular cell row as one over here let me rerun it and let me go over here so you can see now so it has run perfectly and we have the information over here so we can see we have serial number first name and science data and Hindi data only you can compare the information from here and here right so these data are actually same yeah so this way guys this is actually an alternate of VLOOKUP it's fast um, but um, it look like a VLOOKUP alternative but actually what is happening let me give you a quick brief uh, what we did we actually stored the set of information into an array and uh, till here if you remember in the last video till here we actually stored that information and then out of that stored information what we are doing we are selecting specific information from there and uh, pasting it over here so this is what we are doing we are looking for specific information right so this is it uh, thank you so much guys for liking the videos and please share these videos with your friends and family members who wanted to become an expert in MS Excel and if you have any queries please write in the comment section and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I'm uploading any new video thank you so much bye bye